Hey, welcome to another one of my videos. This one's uh, going to show you how to extract a tempo map from some audio that hasn't been recorded to a click track. Uh, some of the reasons you might want to do that, the reason I want to do it is because later on I'm going to be using some effects that are delay based and I want to be able to run that delay to the tempo of the project which obviously needs to be correct for that to work properly but you might also want to put uh, MIDI tracks on and obviously uh, be working to some sort of uh, tempo map there so that timing is correct. As you can see, we literally started recording uh, and then by the time I'd picked up guitar, wandered over, kicked in, we were halfway through measure nine. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is tidy up the front end a little bit. And I'm going to do that by selecting from measure 9 back to the start. And then I'm going to shift uh, click to select all tracks. And I'm going to right click, select edit, delete. I'm going to delete the events in the tracks because I want the clip bits to go. I'm also going to delete the hole. And what that's going to do is shift the hole, the clips that are left over to the left. So uh, as you'll see in a second, what was the start of measure now nine has now become the start of measure one. Uh, that's the first bit done. That's really just a tidying up exercise and not actually part of extracting tempo at all. I'm going to turn off the musical snap for this because obviously uh, unless our drummer is absolutely spot on, it's going to drift as I said, so I need to be able to get to the beats. I'm going to use the kick drum uh, as because it's got some nice sharp transients as you can see and the first thing I'm going to do is bring up audio snap so I'm going to middle click bring up the HUD select audio transients as you can see there's a transients come up there and then we're going to bring up the uh, audio snap palette <coughs> and that's going to take a guess at the tempo from that clip that we've just highlighted and it's shown at 77. Now this is actually a cover of Teenage Kicks so there's no way that's going to be 77. But if you click on this little arrow to the right it would also give you some more others it might be. And I'm going to guess that this is nearer 154, 155 uh, beats per minute. So I'm going to select that. As you can see that changes that to 155. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is set project from clip. If you bring that up there, you'll probably find yours is at measure. I think that's the default. I've changed it to clip because obviously I'm selecting from a whole clip, not just a measure. Uh, so select that to clip. So set project from clip and click on that. And you can now see that the tempo has changed from my default of 120 to 154.89. Uh, so that's that bit done. That's the first bit. Again, we're going to come up here and just get rid of the transients now. Just come back to a regular clip. I've also got that a little bit wider so I can see what's going on. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit as well. So there we go. Just to rewind that to there. Clear the selection so I can see what's happening. Uh, and we now have a starting time of 154.89. We're going to play that. Uh, and we're going to find out where the first beat is. This actually starts with a couple of snare flams uh, as it kicks in. So I want to find now, what I want to find is the first beat uh, in a bar. So I'm going to press play. And it's that one there, that particular beat. So I'm just going to click the now time. So that's on that kick. As I said, I've deactivated snap. Uh, because of the fact that none of this is going to fit properly unless, as I said, our drummer's a robot, which he isn't. So there we are. That's the now time sat at the first beat of what will be effectively the second measure because of that little intro bit. So what I'm going to do now is go to project, set measure beat at now. There's a shortcut there I'm going to be using very shortly, shift N just to save, keep selecting that. So I'm going to select that. 
and that's bring up it'll bring up its best guess which in this case is out because it's saying to me that's measure 2 beat 2 and it isn't I want it to be measure 2 beat 1 so I'm just going to knock that down to 1 click on OK as you can see it slides a, the tempo map across and it's guessing at 12702 that's for this first bit here the reason I'm assuming it does that is because that's actually not a full bar at all that's just like say a couple of snare flams on the way in uh, so we're going to see some changes as soon as that goes along so the f I know for a fact that we're going to be out almost straight away here so I'm just going to press play again and that particular beat there should actually be uh, measure 4 beat 1 and as you can see we're quite a long way off there so I'm now going to use that's that's to be expected as I said because of that that short section at the start there I'm now going to use the shift end shortcut to bring up uh, the me measure beat meter again and as you see it's taking its best guess at measure 3 beat 3 but I want it to be measure 4 uh, beat 1 beat 5 beat 1 so there we go I'm going to click on OK and that has again adjusted the tempo map and it's now guessing at 161.36 uh, but as we go through that will even itself out a little bit hopefully this really I'm not going to go through all of this it really just depends on how anal you want to get about this I, I'm not too bothered about the timing personally when it's behind the beat I find it more annoying when it gets in front of the beat but that's just me as you can see we're uh, a little bit out there again so uh, again shift n and it's now gauging correctly at measure six beat one so it's just about clicking OK and again it drops that tempo down much closer to the target of 155 so obviously our drum is a little bit energetic to start with and slowed down already four bars in uh, and again we're just going to play that now and see how we're going uh, along through the rest of it and at which point it starts to drift again as I say this really just depends on how anal you want to be about it uh, as you can see we're a little bit behind the beat there on uh, measure 10 so again just shift n measure 10 beat one it's already guessing correctly now and we're dropping to 152 and basically that's uh, effectively what I'm going to do for the whole project we're a little bit in front of the beat there as I say I always find that a little bit more distracting for some reason than uh, behind the beat so again shift n measure 1201 and again it drops it to 154 so we're around uh, around about the 154 155 mark uh, so I'm just going to keep all going all the way through the project like that listening for any that I find particularly uh, annoying or that I think are quite a way off it say so it really depends on how crazy you want to be about that but there we go that's 155 and uh, just to show you what that's actually doing we'll bring up the tempo view uh, which is actually gonna appear on my second monitor so let's bring that across there and as you can see what's effectively happening here now is that the uh, the, there's the tempo we started at 127 or whatever it was 130 beats per minute as I said that was incorrect simply because of the fact that it was half a half a bar but you can see we're, we're now drawing a tempo map effectively as the tempo drifts up and down throughout the song so that'll just drift along hopefully around about 155 beats per minute mark uh, and then when we've finished we'll have a tempo map that maps the whole song out with uh, being on time with the beats or there or thereabouts uh, to which I can then set my tempo uh, delay effects later on or indeed as I said if you want to use MIDI based tracks uh, that would be an option as well anyway I hope that helps